Hey guys, so I'm gonna review the 100 season 6 episode 7. I watched this episode twice. Yesterday I was gonna try to watch it again and I had some technical difficulties but I watched it just now and I'm not gonna lie, I've been drinking a little bit. I thought that maybe if I did a tipsy review of the show it would be more entertaining. I don't know. But yeah, so basically, <laughs> I almost feel like this is the kind of episode where you kind of need to even watch it three times to really understand it, because I feel like the dialogue is so fast in this episode that like half of it I don't really remember, but but nonetheless, this is my review, so. So basically, the episode is about Clark versus Josephine versus, like, versus Clark's memories and past and all of her and all of her guilt manifested into all these characters coming back including her dad and Maya and of course Monty and um Ali came back of course also so it was I think the person I enjoyed the most was well Josephine because okay she reminds me so much of Kai from the Vampire Diaries if any of you guys um, have watched that show and n remember that character and agree with me, let me know because holy shit. It was pretty obvious that Josephine was manipulating her. Hard core. So yeah. Um, I just, I didn't really love, I think the one I didn't love the most was probably, I feel like I gained the least from her, her interaction with her, her with her dad in her mind space, to be honest, because it was just, I, it was okay, but every other, I mean, Maya's mind space was really good, um, Octavia's, oh yeah, well, of course she, you know, Octavia was in there, and that was pretty interesting. Um, I really enjoyed Monty. With this episode and of course with you know with of course when you know everything happened in season five um with Monty, you know it reminded me that he was always there to help them without him they wouldn't be alive and it just reminded me that like yes they're in this predicament kind of because of him but if he wasn't if he wouldn't have helped them in the way that he did then you know but yeah um I cannot wait until the next episode. This episode was good. It was very interesting. I loved the artwork on the walls. To be honest with you, when I first watched this episode though, I wasn't like, oh my god, like this is amazing. I think partially because of all the dialogue and there wasn't a lot of like action. Oh my god, I loved when Clark and Josephine fought in the in the beginning of the episode. Like awesome. I loved seeing Clark be so badass. I've loved Clark since day effing one of this show and she is still amazing. Like, I just loved how badass she was in that scene. Like how, you know, she really like, and then of course like the door slamming Josephine's head was amazing. Like, ugh. I just, I just loved parts of this episode. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite episode. Like I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying that this is like the best episode of the season, best episode ever. Like. I don't know if I would say it's the best episode of the season. I think it's definitely interesting to see Clark's guilt manifest into these characters coming back into the show and, and being represented in her mind space. I think it's really interesting. And I definitely think Josephine is a completely interesting character. I really hope we see more of her throughout the season. I mean, I'm assuming we will because, I mean, she's not gone yet. I mean, all like the main thing we learned in this episode is that they know Bellamy and all of them, well, I'm assuming Bellamy will tell the rest of them, but Bellamy knows and Miller knows that Clark is not dead and that she's alive. And that is the main thing we gained from this episode and I'm really happy about that. I'm what I'm trying to say is that I feel like everything's been kind of rushed this season, to be honest, because, and I get it, like, there's only 13 episodes, but at the same time, like, we're only on episode 7 and a lot has happened. A lot has happened. They've discovered this new, these people, They've found out that they are body snatchers, that they're basically, you know, resurrecting themselves into other, and re reincarnating themselves into other people's bodies. And of course, then, of course, um, Clark, of course, was, you know, taken and killed 
for that purpose and now like we've learned more about Josephine and Clark of course and you know the guilt that they both have which kind of makes them similar in characterization but I mean they're definitely not the same character but Josephine Joseph I think they're both interesting in different ways but but I feel like and now that Bellamy knows that she's alive, like I, I just feel like this it's been kind of rushed. Not in a bad way, like I'm not disappointed or like upset or anything like that. I'm just saying like if I was being critical of this season, I would just say that at the end of the day, it's been a little bit rushed. Maybe a little bit. But overall, I'm really enjoying this season. And this episode was really interesting. I mean, honestly, like I just I even I even said it in a tweet on Twitter that to me, this episode was about the introspection. Did I say that right? Introspection? Yeah. Introspection of basically Clark versus Josephine. But also, kind of, each of them versus themselves in a way. Like, I feel like, and I like that we both, we, we saw scenes and memories with each character that were memories that each of them weren't weren't okay with going back to or going into I should say I think that was really interesting but yeah I really like seeing Monty again that was great um Maya oh my god like honestly that scene with Ma with Maya was probably one of my favorite scenes of the show like that Clark fighting Josephine and all the Monty stuff was probably my favorite stuff. Like, honestly, like, especially the memory of Josephine in that diner with her friend, like, doing math, and then this guy came in, and that was tense for sure. Like, Josephine was a normal person, and she wasn't manipulative or crazy or sociopathic or anything like that, which would be really interesting to go, like, I would love to see more of her memories and see what changed like what caused her to become so crazy and like so selfish and so like sociopathic but yeah um but yeah i really enjoyed just seeing clark go through all of these uh, memories and emotions and th there was definitely a point when i first saw this episode where i was like oh my god clark do not give up you can do this like don't give up on your people like i know that you feel guilty and i know you feel like everybody hates you and you i know you feel that like everybody would be better without you but that's not the case just because you've made mistakes and people blame you for them which uh i hate the fact that people blame her for everything she's not a bad person yes she's made bad bad mistakes and bad decisions obviously everybody has like all of them have maybe not raven like i've said in the previous review but at the same time like i hate how they gain up on her like it's so pathetic and horrible and i hate it but i also understand like it's been it's been a going trend for like years like it's i mean it's not a new thing but in a lot of ways this season has been like heavier than other seasons honestly like in other seasons it was kind of like mentioned once in a while but now this season it's like layered it's like an onion of guilt and resentment toward clark and i'm like are you kidding me like give me a break but at the end of the day what can you do has a lot of guilt in her obviously the main maya octavia like they were all manifestations of her guilt and she 100 percent feels guilty about everything that she's done badly you know and i but at the same time like i just wish that, that her people understood that every decision she, she's ever made was for the good of her people you know i just hope that this makes everybody realize especially you know in clark's group of people you know bellamy raven you know blah 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 that clark isn't the enemy bad and I hope at the end of the season we see all of them come together and, and fuck these people up because that's what they deserve because they're fucking assholes and resurrection is never a good thing resurrection is really good it's really interesting though I should say so yeah but it's never a good thing so yeah so I think that's basically my thoughts about this episode it was very interesting. It was very introspect in introspective. Yeah, that's a word. 
and um, yeah, I enjoyed it overall. I definitely think I enjoyed it more because I watched it a second time, to be honest. And Josephine, oh my god, I really, I, it's kind of funny how it is like a love-hate relationship because obviously if Josephine lives, Clark dies. But I really enjoy Josephine because she's like high and she's so interesting. Like she's, she's honestly, I don't know what it is about bad guys, but they're so interesting. I mean, let me know in the comments below, like if you think she's interesting, like, I mean, I miss Clark as much as anybody else. I really do, but I've actually kind of enjoyed her being Josephine. So yeah, but let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode. What do you think is going to happen down the road this season? I mean, we're basically, like, midway through the season, basically, which is crazy. And, yeah, like, like this video if you like my reviews of The 100. Hopefully you guys like them. I know they're not the most amazing, and I don't, you know, I, 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 could, I could, they could be better, and I'm trying to be better, but, yeah. So, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews and The 100 and other things for me. I'm contemplating reviewing Stranger Things Season 3 on this channel if you guys want me to review any tv shows let me know stranger things dark on netflix anything so i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye full face of glam makeup okay um but yeah um I'm trying to think of anything else